Let's turn any logo into a one color logo. First, I'm gonna drag in a New York Empire logo and I'm just gonna size it so we can see it on a dark background because we're eventually just gonna change it to a white version of the logo. So go down to your adjustment layers and click on gradient map and gradient maps basically tell Photoshop you want all of the dark tones to be a certain color and then you want all of the light tones to be a different color and there's a gradient that goes between them. So if you click up in this gradient panel, you can go to basics. You should have a black and white basic. If you don't, you can click on these little selectors here. If you double click them, the color picker will come up and you can set it manually to black and white. So once it's set to black and white, well, first of all, let's hit okay. And let's clip this gradient map to the logo, which is the layer below it. I do that by holding option and clicking on the space between the layers right there. So now we're gonna reopen this gradient map and you can see it's just affecting the New York Empire logo. I'm gonna drag these black and white sliders together until it's a pretty high contrast logo. Like you can see some of the disc details we're losing a little bit, but generally this looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit okay. And now on the logo layer, with the logo layer selected, you're gonna change the blend mode, which is this drop down right here. And you're gonna change the blending mode to screen. You can see it's given us the desired effect. It's a white version of the logo. It's transparent, you can see through it. It's just one color, which is great. Now let's talk about if you wanna change that color. This is gonna be a little tricky, but bear with me. Let's make a new layer above the background and let's just set it to black. I'm just gonna hit G to get the fill tool and then click to make it black. That was my foreground color. So now that we have this, let's go up and make a new layer at the top and this shortcut is gonna sound like a mouthful, but it's a super good one. It's Command Option Shift E. And what that does is it takes the image as you're looking at it and makes a new layer of that image as it's currently appearing. So it basically flattens all of the layers together into its own layer. So now I can turn all of these off, for example, and we see I just have this image layer with the black background, white New York Empire logo. So we want to change the color of this. The way we do it is we take this image and make it the mask of a different color. Remember, the way masks operate is that anything in black on the mask will be hidden, anything in white will show through. So you can imagine if we make this just a solid color layer, which I'm gonna do from my adjustments, going up to solid color. We can pick red, for example. I'm gonna hit okay, and now we're gonna hide this for a second, go back to the logo layer. I'm gonna hit Command A to select it all, and then I'm gonna hit Command C to copy. We wanna copy this image and paste it in the mask of that red layer. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to the red layer. I'm gonna option click on this mask icon in the layers panel, and now I'm looking at the mask. And now I can Command V, paste what we had before, this Empire logo, white on a black background. Now it's been pasted into the mask of this color layer. So if you hit Command D and then click out of this just by clicking on the layer, click again, you'll see that this is now a red Empire logo. So these color fill layers are adjustable by double clicking the color in the layers panel. And then let's say we want to yellow. You can hit okay. And that is how you change the color of a one color logo.